Hi again, it's Michelle with The Singing Baker. And today I thought I'd bring you another fun appetizer. This one is actually very low on ingredients, only five ingredients that you need to get at the store. They're gonna be some cherry tomatoes and we're gonna stuff them with some avocado and some bacon. Okay, so for your ingredients today, like I said before, it's only five ingredients. Our first one are some cherry tomatoes. I like to get them, they're usually in the produce section um, on the vine. They actually tend to be more round. You don't wanna get the ones that are like a grape shape or pear shaped. Um, they're just not gonna stand well for you on a platter. So get the ones that are nice and round and you'll need about maybe 24 of them. We also need uh, three slices of bacon and I like to get the thick cut. We also need a ripe Haas avocado, some lemon, and then some salt, and then that's all you need. So our first step is to take the stem off of all of our cherry tomatoes here. I'm only gonna trim off just the tiniest bit um, just to get the stem off, and then I'm going to leave it pretty flat here. As I'm doing that, you're gonna get a nice flat top, and then I'm also going to trim off just a tiny bit of the bottom, just enough so that when we go to lay it flat later, it's gonna sit flat for you, just like that. Like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that with all of my tomatoes. So trimming off the stem. And then a teeniest bit off the bottom. This is actually a great um, appetizer that you can also change up the ingredients. Uh, if you are vegetarian or vegan, you can leave the bacon out and then maybe put breadcrumbs instead. What we're gonna do is we're gonna crumble up the bacon really, really, really small and mix it with the um, flesh of the avocado. And then we're gonna basically stuff the tomatoes with that. And then I'm gonna sprinkle at the last minute um, some of the extra bacon on the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through all of these tomatoes and get these done. And then we will continue from there. Okay, so I'm just finishing up trimming off the uh, stem of my cherry tomatoes here. And then I'm also trimming off a teeniest bit from the bottom. Make sure not to trim too much. You're really just looking for like an edge that you can put that is flat so that they sit properly like that. But you don't want to cut too much into the tomato. That way um, we have a spot to put the filling and the filling doesn't start coming out on you. So I'm just gonna do my last tomato here. And then my next step is actually going to be taking this knife. If you have a grapefruit, like paring knife, go ahead and use that. Um, but any sharp knife will do as long as it's small. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take each one and just carefully hollow out the inside just to get a little opening for myself without going all the way to the bottom. You wanna leave again a little bit of the bottom there so that uh, we have spot to put the filling. So I'm just gonna scoop these out here. And then when I'm done scooping them out, I'm gonna lay them onto a plate that I've lined with a paper towel. And I'm gonna basically put them upside down so that they can just air out and then the, any excess uh, liquid from the tomato will seep out of there onto the paper towel. And then after that, we will get on to cooking our bacon. So I'm done prepping my tomatoes. Um, like you saw before, I basically took the stem off. I took a tiny bit off the bottom just so that it would lay flat. And then I took the same knife and I cut around the inside of each tomato just very carefully so that I didn't go too far down into the bottom. Um, just do your best. You're gonna have some tomatoes that will hollow out on you, but it, it'll be fine. Uh, just do your best uh, just trying to keep some of the bottom there. And now I'm gonna take my bacon and I'm gonna fry up in a saute pan on the stove uh, three slices. And then after that, we will let them cool and then we are gonna put them in a food processor. You can also use a blender if you want, or you can chop them by hand. Uh, if you happen to have a food processor, uh, definitely I would use that 
because it'll help bake it really, really small. And then when we go to stuff the tomatoes later, it'll be easier. Okay, so I'm done with my bacon. I crisped up three strips in a pan and it smells delicious in here. I'm gonna take two out of my three strips and I'm gonna put it in a food processor just so we can chop it up really finely. So I'm gonna do that right now. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. I try to post a recipe once a week at least and uh, sometimes more often than that but I'd like to post appetizers. Uh, occasionally I post a cocktail as well. Um, just nice little dishes that you can make in the house um, for your family, or if you're having a few people over, it's great to have a nice new appetizer to try out. So let's go here and chop these up. Okay, that's perfect. All right, so my next step, I'm gonna take my avocado, and when you're looking at the store, I actually like to get the Haas avocados. Uh, they have a lot of flavor in them. Make sure you take your sticker off, and you're gonna look for um, a ripe one. So you wanna have a little bit of give when you push into the skin. You don't wanna to push too much, but if you push in, it should give up just a little bit, and then you know that it's starting to ripen up on you. So you go, slice it down, I'm going to remove the pit and I'm just basically going to take all of the flesh out and I'm going to put the flesh into a bowl. So what I like to do is I just basically slice down the avocado lengthwise. I'll slice it the other direction and then you can take your knife and scoop all around in a big, big oval shape here and then all of the avocado flesh just pops out on you. So we're gonna do this with both sides and then I'm gonna mash it with a fork. If you're returning uh, to my channel, welcome back. Uh, drop me a comment below, let me know which uh, recipes you've tried and which ones you've really enjoyed. So just doing the other one, same as I did the first half. And as you can see, it slices in really nice and soft, so we know this is perfectly ripe, lots of flavor. And the flesh just pops right out. Okay. I'm also going to take half of a lemon here and squirt lemon juice over it. You can certainly just squeeze it. I have this little fun tool that I like to use. I think I bought this from Pampered Chef years ago. It's a fun little lemon squeezer. So squeezing about half of this lemon, I'm going to try that out first and I'm going to taste it later and see if I want to add any more lemon juice. And you can really do that as according to your preference. Okay. A little bit of salt. And then we'll just smash this up here. mashing this avocado up you really want to make sure you mash it good it should look like a puree uh, you don't really want any big chunks because what we're going to do now is pipe them into the tomato and if you have any big chunks it'll get stuck on you in your bag so I'm just going to add a teeny bit of salt here and then I'm going to add my chopped up bacon just scoop all of that yumminess into your avocado mixture. Okay. I'm going to mix it up really good. So for your piping bag, um, you can just 
I usually use actually a cake decorating bag. I'm a gourmet cake artist in my hometown, South Florida. Uh, if you ever have a party, uh, definitely look me up. I'm at thesingingbakerboca.com. But um, I have a bunch of these all, all over the house, but today I'll use um, just a plain plastic sandwich bag. So just one that you can buy at the grocery store. Uh, and then you put it into a glass, fold over the top. And then you're going to put your mixture of avocado inside this. You just scoop it all the way down. And then we're just going to take a scissor and snip a corner off of the bag. And we're going to use that as a piping bag to put our mixture into the cherry tomatoes. You can certainly just try a spoon, but it's a lot harder to get it nice and neat if you're just working with a little spoon. Okay. And you just close up your bag. And try to angle it towards the corner of the bag here. Just gonna get a scissor. And I'm just gonna snip off a tiny spot. You don't want to make it too big, otherwise it's going to be going all over the place. Just enough to fill your hole of your avocado. And then you're going to just hold it at the top. You can twist it to get a good handle of it. And then I'm going to start piping into my tomato shells. And basically, just squeeze into each one. Squeeze the bag, and you're going to make a little mound. So I'll show you here for the first one. Just like that. And then you're going to keep continuing with that, and then at the end we'll chop up our last slice of bacon, and then we'll crumble them over the top of these. Okay, so I'm all done. I've piped all of my tomatoes here and I just uh, transferred them to a nice platter. So the very last step, you're just going to chop up this last slice of bacon. And again, I like to use, um, if you have a food processor, go ahead and use it. Otherwise, uh, use a knife um, by hand and just chop it really, really tiny. bacon over the tops of my tomatoes and we'll all be ready to eat. So thank you for joining me again today and I'll see you next time.